Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play of Dragon Age Inquisition. I am Theron, the Dalish Mage that you see right before you, right here. And uh, we are about to enter into a Carta mine. They've hired a lot of outlaws and, and uh, ruffians and mercenaries to guard the area. Like, they must have spent a fortune on it. Because I think that they're doing some illegal lyrium trading and it's very lucrative. Valimar. Well, let's go forth then. See what we find in here. I personally haven't had much dealings with dwarves. Wraith. Like wisps, wraiths are sometimes thought to be the remains of spirits or demons that have been destroyed. They cannot shape the fade around themselves, nor are they capable of mimicking forms they see in the minds of dreamers. Uh, I got two thirds through it. <laughs> That's that's the uh, issue with the solo state drive. It does load too fast. Back, it's back to the hinterlands. I think this is going to be quite the excessive mine, and it's probably a really good thing they went back and got all our potions. So let's go forth. If they've hired, must be an old dwarven outpost. What was it for? Trade, maybe. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> yeah, these graphics are. Pretty intense. <laughs> That's awesome. Giant dwarven statue up there. And even the sound in my headphones. <laughs> it's pretty fantastic. Was it worth $700 and a week off? Or <laughs> I don't know. I think in the long run, yeah. Because it's not just this game. It's for other games that I'll have to upgrade to. Alright. Uh, so out of... Let's not speak of OOC land anymore. This is a... Let's roleplay. And speaking of that, there is quite the extensive dwarven uh, facilities, base. I, I don't see any dwarves, but there were three card members up. Oh, I, I'm lying. There's one right there. Hmm. This is a pretty fantastic place, and it's so well hidden in, hidden in the mountains. I can kind of understand, but. There's got to be caravans of this stuff coming out. They've got to be selling it to people. Lyrium is one of the most valuable things. There's dead skeletons. Valuable things that you can find. Oh, hello, Mr. Hostile Dwarf. What? What's that noise? That was almost deafening. Okay, so I've decided to seek out and eliminate the Carter leader in Valimar, simply because they're too much of a destruction to half of the hinterlands. And they're having an effect on the farmers and the, the, the people who live in the area. I do like that my electricity power can uh, stun them. It's a bit of an eerie place. It's beautiful, but the what the heck was that noise? Maybe that was the alarm tripping. Uh, means that every Carta member in the whole place will know that we're here. They're under attack. Oh, it just keeps going on and down. Well. Let's take one area at a time and flush it out. Drake stone. I hate to uh, leave things. More Drake stone. Some kind of. It's a doorway. 
The door can only be opened by some kind of mechanism. Okay, uh, does that mean we can open it around here? We can't pull in anything to open it? Do we need a key? Well, I don't see any means to do it around here now. We can always return to this later. So I guess I'll go down and see what's below. How far does this go down? I don't think I can cross over. I don't think I can go over there, but it really looks like I could go down. I'm gonna drop down here. Oh, climb down. Okay, there's a ladder right here. Is that noise? I'm down. Oh, just jump then. What's this? There's a coin. It's a corpse. 63 gold. That's a sh Shamar Elven corpse. It's too tall, too long. And I don't... What am I... Oh. Picking up the ladders. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a drop from here. Wow. They've, uh... Really... This is old. This is very old. This place. They've been here for a while. It's nothing new. So maybe Beric was right that it's an old dwarven outpost. Eerie noises coming from in here. So let's go back this way. There's a ladder up there. Birds flying all around. Oh, uh, I didn't actually look down here. It's some Drake stone. So it looks like our choice is kind of set forth for us. We have to go up here. It's the only other place to go to. Where are my companions? Come on, guys. There's another ladder here. Oh, that's only from climbing up from the... I don't know why there's even a ladder there. Why when there's all these stairs here? Upper Terrace. <coughs> Drake Stone. Where does this go? Yeah, I would, I would say this is not a new area. Not newly created. Carter note on security. We should be secure enough from outsiders. I'm more concerned about attracting darkspawn from the lower levels. We don't have the manpower to push them further in, keep the product on the upper levels, and barricade the bridge. Interesting. So there are darkspawn in the area. Well, it would seem so, because it's... Maybe this is connected to the deep roads. Um, I don't have a weapon to bash this loose area of the wall, looks like. Uh, but... Cassandra does. Okay, she could just kick it. <laughs> A little chest. Pitch grenade recipe. Uh, explodes into puddle that slows enemies. Interesting. There's another little chest. Strange looking chest. Almost looks like a bucket. Guard belt. Uh, plus 10 guard Max, what in the heck is that? Warrior only. Increases maximum guard by the spe specified amount. Okay. Vanguard coat legs. Uh, tier 2 heavy armor legs schematic. Nothing fantastic in here. I mean, the ability to create more um, armor and stuff is, or ad additions to your armor and weapons is always welcome. But, uh, yeah, there's food here. This must have been, like, their eating room. Maybe at least for those who are in charge. That's what I would surmise. And this one is locked. Let's get there. Oh, uh, it seems like everybody else in the party has gained a season. It's finally. Uh, for a few of them, I can actually give them better equipment. So, um, one, two, three, four. I think we'll probably have to go... 
Yeah, this is four as well. So let's go back to the weapons. I'm trying to split it up between uh, the trapping traps and the archery. Um, explosive shot. Now he has a ring that increases his power. You fire a powerful shot that explodes on impact, damaging enemies around your target. We could definitely go with that. And then there's the add-on, which does another 25 per target and a maximum bonus damage of 100%. Okay, so apply that. Solus. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, let's go. He can put a point into spirit then. It's kind of ahead of me because he has that extra ancient elvish uh, or dalish. Was it dalish or elvish? I think it was elven. Yeah, dalish is elven, but not all elves are dalish. So a little bit of logic sink in. Dispel. Um... Mind Blast. You send enemies staggering with an explosion of willpower that drives them back and makes them less likely to target you again. Very nice for casters to keep them away from you. We'll do that. He can have that. And then let's go to Cassandra. Now I'm trying to flesh out this uh, tree, which is coming along really fast. Ring the bell. Um, bonus damage versus guard. What is guard? I don't actually know what guard is. I assume it's just a natural ability that warriors have, or a warrior with a shield have. You now lunge forward with shield bash, and you do even greater damage to an enemy's guard. Okay. So we'll go with that. And that's it for that. Hopefully he'll be able to unlock this. There we go. Good work, Varric. Handy dwarf to have with us. It's a trading post area. Oh, we encountered half a dozen um, Carta guards, and that's it. Read. Deface Carta Notice. Much of Valimar remains closed, closed to us. Anyone interested in changing that should meet here tomorrow, one hour past noon. T. A series of notes has been scrawled below this notice. Stop wasting time on that damn door. I don't care what's behind it. The mechanism's broken. More importantly, who cares? We have product to move, and you want to see if some ancient dwarf locked up the good tea set? We're shorthanded as it is. If I hear you've taken another group to the lower levels in search of gears, I'll make you sorry. L. First of all, I think this place used to be a trade post. There could be something valuable behind that door. And just how will you make me sorry? T. I'll use my imagination and knives. L. Okay, so I believe that's the door we tried to open. Uh, the Carter haven't even been able to go through it. I thought that maybe that they were behind there. That was maybe where they were hold up, held up uh, with their leaders. An angry note. First Liska, now Branor, caught him trying to steal some of the product. Just a little bit. Just to keep, he says. Nug shit. Trying to make a little extra on the side. Thinking I wouldn't notice. I will not be undermined. Your cousin said we could trust Branor. So you handle it. If I'm not happy, you won't be either. A little bit of division among the Carta. Reinforced Vanguard Coat. Oh yes, uh, I also forgot to... Uh, uh, there's a few items for each of us. Now I'm going to pause it here because my little one is screaming upstairs. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully he's quieted down. Alright, so we have Masterwork Vanguard Armor. Very, very well crafted piece of armor, so says uh, Cassandra. And she now has the skill to use it. So we'll put that on. Compared to what she had, this is extremely nice. It already comes with Vanguard... Uh, armor legs and a superior vanguard coat arms. Okay, so uh, she cannot wear this better helmet until she uh, gets to season 9. As for... Okay, that's helmet. That's armor. Back. Uh, as for weapons, I think that she could use a better shield. Shard shield. That's what she's using right now. Hopefully I didn't sell it. Uh, lion shield. Um, yeah, or legion lion shield. It's significantly better. I need to look up what this guard thing is because, uh, like I said, I don't have the manual. I think a lot of people don't. So it's kind of a weird thing. You have to go online to look at the manual, and I haven't done that. But I assume that guard is good for being a tank and get everyone's attention. This increases it. So does increases her front defense. Uh, so the other one did too, actually. Uh, but it gives her two strength as well. And I think Varric, she does have the shield, right? Make sure she has, yeah. Or Legion Lion Shield. Varric also has something he can wear that's better. So he's wearing, okay, Reinforced Vanguard Coat. That's for a warrior only. 
Vanguard mail. I hope I didn't sell this card of coat. I may have sold it. Damn it. I think I did. Warden helmet. Yeah, there was a... I think that there was a better... A better uh, armor for him. But it appears I have sold it. Um, what's this move to valuables? Snake blade. I want to keep that. I'll move to valuables. Now, what does that mean? Back. Valuables. Oh, okay. Um... I'm going to guess that that means unmarked for sale. That means that you want to sell it instead of just move to like vending equipment. Um, that being the case, I mean, you could easily just go through because I don't want to sell that. You could like move to valuables, shard shield, move to valuables, for all the officer bow, move to valuables. And Bianca, we will not get rid of. Um, could use a, a rune in there. But, uh, hmm. There are better weapons out there. I don't... We've come across a lot better bows. Of course, we can't give up Bianca. Bianca's unique. Unique to Varric. Alright, so that's it for that. This looks like another one of those boats thick. I uh, heard somebody screaming outside. There's nothing else in this room. Back to the upper terrace. Drake stone on the floor. Dark spawn. These won't be the last. We may be too close to the surface for these to count as deep roads. But have I mentioned I hate the deep roads? <laughs> uh, not that I've heard of. Uh, these are Carta members here. There's dark spawn down there. I've never seen dark spawn. Well, let's roast us some Carta members. They're in our way. This is a dark spawn. Well, it just exploded. Could take you. What's that in the distance? That's an I believe it's another dark spawn. Hi ever weave, Frelden toy soldier. Uh, there's a door here. We don't have to confront the dark spawn immediately. Oh, who are you? Uh, somebody said, there, I think this is the leader, he said, saw that have had enough Inquisition interference. Let's take them down then. Send a giant lightning bolt his way. I'm getting pelted a lot. I'm going to use a potion. What is Dark Spawn have come up to greet us? I can't see exactly what's going on outside. I think we've dealt a, a, a killing blow to the card, actually. Guys, can we move out of the way? Completely in my way. So that dark spawn did come over with a friend. More power. We've gotten rid of the Carta in, in the region, I believe. But now all that's left is to find a way to get into that door, the mechanism door, and that's bothering me. There may be no way to do it, but I'm going to take a look at it because who knows what's behind there. If this is connected to the deep roads, it's at least an ancient dwarven place. There's dwarven statues all over the place. Orders for lake operations. Check on operations at the lake. Make sure they're doing their jobs down there. Don't let them give you shit about the wildlife. I don't care. Take Liska with you. Give her something to do. She's been on edge complaining about humming or some nonsense. If she can't handle the job, deal with it. Okay. Books and letters all over the place. Report on activity in the hinterlands. 
The soldiers call themselves the Inquisition. They've been helping the refugees near Redcliffe, poking around a fair bit too, though they haven't come near here. They have someone with a trick for closing those rifts, claim he's some sort of prophet. The zealous nug shit, if you ask me. Must be one fast talking elf to get a bunch of humans to fall for that. Not sure what he's after, but if those mercenaries do their job, we won't have a problem. Still keep an eye out. They've been watching our movements. They have. Personal note scrawled in the ledger. It's good, though red. With the Templars severing ties to the Chantry, we should find buyers easily enough. It has to be the right buyer, though. Don't want anyone who will get ideas. We need to control distribution. If travel across Lake Callanhad is secured, we're made. Most of the veins have been near the surface. There's enough of it, but if we find a deeper vein, a source that the take could be huge. Once we have a firm grip on the current operation, we can look into expansion. So they were going to sell to the Templars. I can't see why they couldn't sell to the mages either. Oh, Dwarven Gear. Is this what they want to open up the door? This appears to be machine Dwarven Gear. Take all. Well, I can try it on there. But we may need another part. I'll keep an eye out for it. Another book. Darktown's deal. Ask the nobles of Orzammar how their kingdom gets silks and grain and wine from the surface and they'll tell you trade with the surface occurs. It occurs as if on its own, with no traders or merchants or human farmers involved, a little miracle of dwarven ingenuity. The reality is a lot messier than their fantasy. Orzammar relies upon the surface not just for its prosperity but for its survival. Ages of blights have taken thousands of tags away from the dwarves. These were the places where most of the food was raised, the dwarven kingdom that endured alone, independent beneath the stone from time, immo ugh, from time immemorial, perished in the first blight, faded into myth. Now the remaining dwarves underground cling to existence through a lifeline to the surface, a chain forged from the castless. Every dwarf who goes to the surface is stripped of caste, effectively exiled and removed from dwarven society forever. But Orzammar relies on continued relations with these exiles to live. This has created a shadow. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Sorry, guys. This has created a shadowy area of dwarven trade and politics where the rich, powerful, and elite maintain secret ties to people who, by official decree, no longer exist, and everyone knows what kind of things lurk on in the shadows. The Carta lives in the underbelly of the surface trade like a tapeworm. Many surface dwarves maintain ties, not officially recognized, of course, but respectable, to their former houses in the noble or merchant caste, and those contacts are, men, are means of trading with Orzammar. Those who have no ties because they were cast off by their families or never had good connections make the trip back underground to trade with Orzammar personally, where they find themselves treated like criminals. A castless in Orzammar, even a wealthy one from the surface, will be driven away from most merchants, treated like he's carrying a plague at best. So these surface merchants turn to the Carta for help. The Carta acts as a contact in Orzammar for surface businesses and sells their goods on the black market. For a cut, of course. The Carta always gets its cut. The outraged citizens of Orzammar sometimes position, petition the assembly to deal with the rampant crimes surrounding the black market, and showy displays are made of kicking in the doors to Carta hideouts and raising dust town. But the Carta always comes back, because the assembly always allows it. Too much of Orzammar is dependent on the black market trade, and the nobles know it. They all do business with the Carta. Everyone has a stake in its success. The Carta has a thousand faces above and below the surface. Honest merchants and noble caste lords and upstanding members of the Merchants Guild all a cover for the thousands more smugglers, thieves, and murderers in the shadows. The lifeline of Orzmar praised the ancestors, excerpted from Darktown's deal by Varric Tethris. Varric, you wrote this. Wow. All right. Uh, replace gear. Okay. We don't have the other no, part. it's still not done. But this doesn't explain the other door that we encounter at the surface. Maybe that door only opens out, maybe. I don't know. What's this? Uh, it looks like another dark spawn. They th seem to be reclaiming the area now that we killed the Carta. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.